Okay, welcome back. Lah. Now I'm going to show you the physical way of physical arrangement of a chain. Lah. I need two color over here. So let's say I have a chain drive and a a driver and a sprocket. A, a, a driver and a driven, lah. one big, one small. So realize that when it's a driver, so obviously we need to turn it. Lah. We need to turn this guy. So if I turn it this way, turn this way. So when we pull it this way, so this will be tall tension and this will be slack. So the chain drive we call that this is the tight side. And that is the slack. Now what happens if for example for whatever reason we drive the train wrongly, uh, I'm gonna show you a man. Uh. I got the driver here and I got a sprocket here. Instead of turning it that direction, we incidentally turn it the other way around. So this way, this is okay. Let, let me highlight first. Uh, this is a driver. That means this is this is all driver. Uh, the small sprocket is usually the driver. Uh. So if I drive this way, this will be the tight side, and that will be slack. So this will be tight, and this will be slack. Now you realize that in this little thing that I demonstrate to here, this is a thing that we have to be very mindful. The one that I draw on this side where the tight is on top is correct correct way of driving. Eh? The one that I drive with the tight side on the other side is wrong. wrong eh? This is the wrong way of driving. That's unfavorable. Reason is because when we stop driving it, this tight side become loosened and the, the sprocket will start to move. Eh? The driven will start to move. So it has to be in this form. So basically we need to know that uh, the train drive is this form. And another one is this. Eh? We, when we put the chain drive, when we put the chain drive, we will put them horizontally. That means, uh, this is the horizontal, uh, this is the uh, chain drive. Uh, let me just put it back again. We tie like that. And then this guy's left. Horizontal. We should not, should not under any condition draw the chain this way. Lah. We should not put it like that. We should not say, I want to put it vertical. So that, this is incorrect. Lah. Uh, but I will draw, still draw the chain here. Let's say you drive it like that. And this is the slab side. So this is vertical. And again, uh, I'm going to highlight the arrow here. This is correct. And the vertical one is incorrect. Uh, incorrect. You don't put it in vertical. Uh. Now another thing I need to talk about chain drive is the way we arrange the chain. Uh. Let's say I put in the driver here. Then I put another chain here. Another one here. One more here. And one more here. The beauty of chain drive is this, uh, you can have many drivers. Uh, but we need to understand uh, one fundamental concept of the drivers. Uh. Let's say this is the main driver. I'm going to turn this one clockwise. So the chain, the chain, let's say the chain will move from here. Yeah. Chain, then round it here and over here. Then curve it around here, all the way down here, and then curve all the way up. Let's say this is a train driver. Now, very important concept we need to know is this: uh, if the train were to contact the sprocket on the outer, it will be in the same direction. The rotational speed will be the same direction. This outer, la. inner is here, and this outer. So you realize that this is called the inner part, la. you contact the inner part. So if this is going to be clockwise, this will be in the counter. If this is clockwise, this will be counterclockwise. La. And same for this, la. this is clockwise, so this is going to be the counterclockwise. 
so remember that in chain drive uh, there is this clockwise and counterclockwise is the way we arrange the chain nah? okay and that brings me to the end of this uh, video nah?